My name is Dr. Linya Patel and I'm a dietitian and I'm particularly proud of being a black dietitian. Um, I have dual heritage. I'm half Zambian and half Indian and I'm proud of my dual heritage because it gives me a natural cross-cultural sensitivity and also an innate ability to be able to empathize with a wide range of people. Um, I've worked extensively within public health um, and I've always found that my uh, dual heritage has really added to the richness of advice um, that I can give the people that I'm working with. I'm proud to be a black dietitian because, you know, the reality is, is that being a person of color, the hustle is harder and it's harder on multiple levels. Um, so I'm proud of being a black dietitian because to be a black dietitian, you need to have a little or actually a lot more resilience and determination to get to where you want to get to. My journey into dietetics was slightly longer than most. Um, I've always loved science, uh, food and cooking was always an interest of mine. Um, and I definitely um, get a kick out of helping people. Yet at school and even when I did my A-levels, I had never heard of dietetics as a career option. So I went to university with the intention to do something in the medical world, or um, I actually thought of doing um, a BSc in biochemistry and medicinal chemistry, um, because medicine and engineering are kind of with, were the only options that were um, offered if you had an interest in science. And along the way of me doing my um, undergraduate, I did some summer interning um, and ended up interning with two dietitians and one clinical dietitian and one sports dietitian. And you know, that summer I found my thing. Um, I feel so blessed to be in a profession that brings all my interests together. Um, I find dietetics is a fascinating and a fantastic career to be in. Um, I love the variety that it brings. Um, you can be a dietitian that works in multiple settings. Black dietitians are very important because as dietitians, what we do is we translate scientific research on food and health and disease, and we put that into practical uh, guidance and support um, that supports individuals to make appropriate food and lifestyle choices. Um, so as dietitians, our advice needs to be tailored towards those of different cultures, um, religious needs as well, because not only does it improve the acceptance of the advice given, but it also improves compliance. Um, so having a diverse workforce and particularly having di black dietitians within our profession enables that. I would like other dietitians to know that ensuring more diversity within our workforce is a shared responsibility. So the onus isn't just on one person or a single group or even just one organization, but every single person, whether you're black, whether you're brown, white, or everything in between has a part to play. So I would challenge your dietitians to explore where and how they can level the playing field within their world, because essentially we all need to become agents of change. The harsh reality is that, that at the moment our profession lacks diversity and equality. And if I speak personally from my experience within the 15 years that I've been working as a dietitian, I can definitely count on my hands the number of dietitians of color in leadership positions, for example. So not only is our industry not representative in terms of leadership, but there's also a lack of knowledge. Um, there's also a lack of resources that are specifically aimed for black populations, for example. So in terms of where I'd like to see our profession in the next 20 years, well, I'd like to see a level playing field in all aspects of um, our profession. So I'd like to see recruitment, whether that's university or within dietetic services, um, organizational charts as well that include diverse voices, particularly brown and black voices. Um, I would also like to see resources that are culturally specific and appropriate. I would love also to see dietitians who have black heritage being celebrated not only in October because um, that's Black History Month, but every month, every day, because they bring such a richness to our profession. And I would love, love to see all dietitians becoming active allies in helping achieve equality within our profession.